What is going on guys, it's me, Farwild, and today I'm bringing you how to control lockdown on Halo 2 Anniversary. So, um, as you can see, we're starting right off the bat here, red team, and I'm um, pushing for the pushing for the power positions and the and the power weapons. So as you can see that I shot the, the far left fusion coil and I was managed to obtain the sniper rifle before the um before the blue team. Um, so basically, on lock lockdown uh, or lockout, it, the main power positions you're looking at are BR3, uh, BR the ramps at BR2 or BR3, and Snipe 3. Those are the places you want to you want to control. As you can see here, I'm making my way up to B, uh, BR3, and basically, if you control those power positions, you control the game. Uh, I've said it in my last video. I'll say it in this one. But even more, it's absolutely vital you control these power positions on lockdown because that means you'll be forcing your opponents to either spawn bottom library elbow or bottom green and elbow you can be seen from from snipe tower bottom library you can be seen from br tower and uh bottom green well they'll have to either go up to top blue uh, which you do not want to do by the way if you ever find yourself always run through bottom mid don't go top blue because that is just stupid especially if, if the enemy team have uh, set up as well as we have and have the sniper and as you can see here I have the sword I don't know if anyone's picked up the um, uh, the shotgun um, so the sword spawns bottom library underneath red spawn uh, the shotgun spawns bottom green where the blue team spawn and the sniper as you saw earlier is at snipe tower um, if you yeah if you spawn red like I did earlier uh, shoot the shoot the sniper uh, shoot the left fusion coil on the sniper we volleyed towards you which is obviously a great tactic to use to get there before blue team or you could use the, the jump up um, the jump ups on lockdown are very very helpful there's ones from bottom mid to top mid there's one from um, bottom mid to snipe two uh, well yeah but snipe one to snipe two there's one from br2 to br3 there's two of them on either side of this here uh right next to where i am you can use the drop downs there's a drop down from snipe two to snipe one and one i just used there from br2 to br1 so you want to be able to move around the map extremely quickly and that'll give you maximum potential as you can see we're absolutely dominating the team we've got two men br2 we've got one ma uh, got one man snipe um one, uh, snipe one, uh, snipe two, and a man snipe three. Those are the positions you want. As you can see here, these icicles are a bitch. Yeah, basically, most of, if you can work them to your power, you've won the game. In this gameplay, as you can see, the, the team actually playing against uh, do not have map control, do not have uh, any sort of whereabout. Uh, they, they're good. I, I mean, I'm not saying they're. I mean, they're average. They're, they're not amazing, but. Um, if they were better, they would have already taken me out because I was sitting at um, I was sitting at top BR and top BR has a static uh, a uh, ice cool static type thingy above it. Uh, so you'll want to um, you'll want to control that. You want to shoot it down before you get there. Same for snipe ramp. There's one there and there's one at top mid as well. Uh, top mid don't it's a no go zone. It's a, unless your team has full control of the map. Uh, top mid is a no go zone. It's stupid. It's it's just such a ridiculous place to go. Especially on Crazy King when the first hill, the A hill is at top mid. is absolutely ridiculous place to go. Um, yeah, so remember when you're playing on uh, lockdown, the whole game can change in one move. And that move is utilising the, uh, the ice court, the ice above the, above, uh, the ramps and BR and stuff like that. If you, uh, I don't actually get one in this gameplay, which is annoying because in another one I do, which I'll actually be, um, I'll do another one of these, but as blue team because I spawned blue and I managed to get a sweet double kill off the bat uh, on two people on BR, uh, BR three, which one of them actually had the sniper, and that actually just changed the game completely. Like, um, I, I won't spoil it for you, but when I upload it, you'll see that it actually changes the game so much. One play. I mean, in competitive, this is going to be such a big thing. Um, to be able to, uh, basically, to avoid you getting caught out, shoot it before you get there. That is the number one thing I suggest. Earlier you saw me trying to throw a grenade. It didn't work, so I don't think grenades work on it. But you'll definitely want to um, shoot it with your BR before you uh, before you go there. This is one of those jump ups from, uh, there you go, top mid to snipe one. And you can also do it the other way to top mid. As you see here, I'm actually top mid and I die. See? Do not go top mid. Um, it's stupid. It's such a uh, reckless thing to do. Um, 
can I just say something about the uh, about the um, SMGs first of all? They're they're pretty good. Oh wait, wait, look at this nade. Look at this. Wait, oh no, it's not now. Uh, it's a bit later. Um, I pulled off a really sick nade off that off that little ledge there. Um, the SMGs are pretty good, but this play here was a bit a, a bit I think a bit cocky on my part to be honest with you. I dropped down thinking that he wouldn't know I was there. I knew he didn't have the sword because our teammate, mate, as you can see there, has the sword. And uh, somehow I missed that bloke running top mid there. If you pause the video, you'll be able to see him again. Um, but uh, realistically, um, you don't want to be dropping down to uh, to uh, bottom library unless you're unless you have unless you're absolutely sure that you, they don't know you're there. Um, power weapon control and map control. That's all you need on this map. If you're at snipe and have the sniper, or even if you're at snipe three and you don't have the sniper, or even snipe two, um, or bomb snipe actually, elbow. They will spawn elbow. They will spawn. Um, at bottom green, at uh, bottom blue, and look, and what was the spawn in there, man? The spawning was ridiculous. Um, uh, I'm, that's, I'm not going to blame it on that, but that's that's pretty much why I did. Um, just a couple of things before I end the video. Firstly, mocks next week for me. That means I won't be active on Xbox, probably not, because I'll be doing revision and um, stuff like that. So uh, heavy heavy time at school. Uh, bear with me for that. I think I'll schedule a video for Wednesday. You can look out for that. That'll be a uh, how to play. It was a really quick one. I've forgotten what map it was now. It was three minutes long. It's a super quick match. Oh, look, look at that. That's the nade off the wall right on his foot. Um, I've forgotten what map it was now. It was a um, it was a remade one. I don't think it was Stone Town. But at the moment, it is quite difficult to get games, as you obviously know. Uh, matchmaking sucks. Warlord seems to be the only map that's voted. Anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed. Uh, please leave a like and comment. It helps my channel grow. I understand your feedback and what you guys want to see from me. Anyway, guys, that's all from me. Like, subscribe, Twitter and Twitch. And I'll see you guys all next time. Peace out.